Thanks again for stopping by our YouTube channel. This is Christian Posta from Solo.io. This is a continuation of a series of demos where we dive into Service Mesh Hub and its capabilities. In the previous demo, we saw its ability to discover clusters and meshes and workload items that are running inside of those particular meshes. And specifically, we started with two Istio clusters. Now in this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at federating the root identities across the two different meshes because they started off disparate. We're going to bring them together so that we can route traffic across them. In the next video, we'll look at using a unified API on top of this new virtual mesh and control things like access policies and network routing and so forth. So let's get started. Just to remind you, we have Istio installed in cluster one, and we have Istio installed in cluster two, two separate installations of Istio. And our service mesh hub, which is our management plane. So we have our clusters, and we've discovered our meshes as well. So now the two different meshes have different root trust domains here. So for example, if we look at reviews calling into the ratings service, let's come back up here, reviews calling into the ratings service, we can see the certificate that gets presented. We can even see the, the full chain here, right? So we have, uh, here, here's the root. We see GGY as the, the last part of it. If we take a look at the auto-generated secret created by Istio when it started up, we can see that that indeed is the root of its, that's the, CA, that's the CA that it's using. And that's why we see that when we see mutual TLS between Istio's services in cluster one. Now, if we do the same thing on cluster two, first we should notice that this root is different so we'll come back up here and take a look at the, the chain. The root that we see here is different than the previous one, but this KCQ should match the root CA that, that Istio auto-generated when it started up, which we do, KCQ. So that's, we, we see that these are two different service meshes with two different trust domains. Now, what we're gonna do using Service Mesh Hub is unify them using a, a construct called the virtual mesh. We're gonna group them into a single logical mesh. And we can see that here, the virtual mesh using the virtual mesh CRD, we're going to say, generate a root that will be the root of both of the meshes. If we already have a, a CA, a root CA, um, we could specify it here, but in this case, we'll generate one. We're going to federate the meshes and make them permissive to start off with for this demo. Permissive just means that the service discovery between the two services will be global. So you, you, you can see all the services uh, in cluster two and in cluster one. We're gonna start off by not enabling access control. So everything can talk to everything. We'll see that in the next demo. And these are the meshes that we are going to group. So let's apply this virtual mesh. And you can see we're applying it to cluster one, which is where the management plane here lives, the service mesh hub. So that says it was created. Now, if we go and get this resource, we should see the same thing that we expected, but then in the status field, and this is uh, actually an important detail to all of the Service Mesh Hub resources. There's a status field that gives information about the, um, the state machine behind it, right? The, 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 accept, the, the acceptable transitions and their, their states. We can see everything was accepted here, so that's good. Now we've created this virtual mesh abstraction. Let's take a look at the secrets that were created, right? So we asked the Service Mesh Hub to automatically create this root CA, and we can see that here. 
And let's take a look at that particular root CA and let's take a look at the certificate itself. So we can see here, let's actually copy this. It ends in NSI with an equal sign. Let's just, just copy it here so we have it. Yep, did that. So now when we created this virtual mesh, what this instructed the service mesh hub to do is ask each cluster, each service mesh, to generate its own keys and, and certificate and certificate signing requests that will act as an intermediate and form a chain between what's running in the particular clusters and ultimately this root CA that we created. So we can see if we ask for the, the virtual mesh certificate signing requests, we can see that on cluster two, it also exists on cluster one. And let's actually take a look at this. See a whole bunch of stuff here. Here is the, the, the host name and the, and the org for which we want this certificate signed. The CSR data here is base64 encoded, but we can see in the status field, like I mentioned, the response. So we have the CA signed and we have the root that was used in this particular chain. Again, it's base64, we'll take a look at it in a second. Now, what this means is we've created a new key and certificate pair on each of the meshes without transmitting any keys or certificates uh, across the, the network, uh, other than the certificate signing request. And we can see that in cluster one, we created the CA certs for Istio. And in cluster two, we did the same thing. Now, if we look at the root cert from our, uh, from the CA certs that was created, we can see NSI with the equal sign and that matches what we expected from our root cert from Service Mesh Hub. So let's bounce the Istio pods, the, the Istio control plane. And at the moment we, we need to do that because it doesn't pick it up automatically. Uh, let's do that on cluster one and cluster two. That is something that we're working on at, uh, at Solo. We'll contribute that to, to Istio. Let's get that, that working. And then another thing that we'll notice, if we come over here real quick, is that the, I've also restarted the workload so that they pick up the new certificate chain. It eventually does happen, but it, it, it takes a little bit. So we'll just speed it up by, um, by, by bouncing them. And that's fine. Okay, so now let's take a look at the pods. Okay, so the, the pods that are running from the, from the book info, we see that they're all running, they're all running nicely. Let's now check the certs again. So in cluster one, we see reviews calling ratings. We're gonna look at that, that certificate chain and we see it here. Here's the root here. We should see, oh, got a couple different things here. Where is the root? The root is right here. And we can see NSI, does that match? Yes. It does. So now our trust domain on the first cluster is anchored on the root CA that we generated for service mesh with service mesh hub. And let's take a look at cluster two, do the same thing. Come up here and look at the root certificate in the chain. We see NSI and again, that matches. So now both clusters are federated in terms of their trust domains. So in the first video, we saw how to discover these clusters. In this video, we saw how to, how to unify their, 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 their trust. And in the next two videos, we'll see access policy treated at the virtual mesh layer and traffic routing at the virtual mesh layer. So stay tuned, watch the next videos.